with us. Wait a second. Okay. okay. So this is all of us. We 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 are sitting here. So. Assalamu alaikum. How are you guys? Mashallah, barakallah. So many people there. Everybody is wearing a mask. Social distancing. That's great. Mashallah. Can you guys hear me clear? We can hear you. Can you hear me clear? Okay, great. So I shall begin my presentation now. You share my screen, Koga. So, Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Okay, wait, let me just... Uh, okay. Can you see my slide? Yes, we can see it, bro. Okay, my name is Fajr Siddiq and I'm from Singapore and I'm a serial entrepreneur and also an Indian maker, influencer, producer, professional Euro player, as well as digital nomad and designer and developer. So it's just me, basically, my laptop, paying bills and buy me coffee. I'll explain to you more about the buy me coffee later on. And topic for today is actually why should I not stop coding? So this topic was given by Osama uh, Kossing and thanks uh, for inviting me today. And today I will share with you more about Built with Jamstack. Uh, pretty much, uh, I'm sure everyone uh, knows what's Jamstack. So basically it's JavaScript, APIs, and markup. So uh, what I do with that is uh, using GitHub. So you can actually uh, upload like HTML, CSS file if you're using Bootstrap. Uh, and if you're using Jamstack like Gatsby and some other uh, front end uh, stack, you can actually uh, host it on GitHub. and what I'm using for this project uh, for my website, fajasiddiq.com, is actually uh, using Netlify. So I make a URL a short link, and I can share easily from here. So you can see that. So you can just uh, create a redirect uh, simply from there, from the GitHub. And then uh, what I do with that, so basically I build uh, communities and micro startups, meaning small projects. So the reason why I build a community is because to build my own audience. So I think building audience is really important. Uh, you know, to get up there so that people know what you're building and as well as you can share knowledge and you can share uh, among uh, friends from all over the world. And apart from that, uh, you can build micro startups, uh, meaning small projects. So uh, you don't need to think so much of uh, building a big company or registering a big company. You can just build one company and then you can have uh, multiple projects and which means uh, micro startups. And micro startups, you can scale even faster. Uh, with uh, coding and also no code tools and as well you can build a quick MVP and micro startups you can also launch so you can grow your audience uh, so I built Ramadan Makers uh, for one example so uh, we have done this for almost like a year right now and it's on Telegram and it's really interesting and very engaging so the reason why we choose Telegram uh, is because it's uh, fast, uh, secure and of course privacy and uh, they have that mode, it's very really nice, and you can chat with people from across the world there. And the next thing I want to share with you about open startups, so basically sharing metrics and stories, when I share about metrics, meaning that uh, your views, how much the views uh, on your site, and also how much uh, uh, monthly recurring revenue you're earning, or annual recurring revenue you're earning, and there's so much more about that for open startups. So uh, this is a culture thing where you share with people your achievements and how you are progressing running your website or your app. So next thing is uh, about uh, analytics on like the site that is being viewed. So I use this tool called Simple Analytic and it's very uh, important apart from just using a Google Analytic. I know Google Analytic is uh, good but I use uh, this one because of privacy friendly and it's always encrypted so I can just uh, share this link to anyone who wants to view my uh, uh, how my page is doing. Next thing I share you about buymecoffee.com so it's uh, basically it's this tipping culture so tipping culture like you know you do a favor for your friend or for your for, for your you know, community or like your client or uh, so you don't need to like just pay like a full amount kind of thing like you know a lot of people they do like uh, transaction like buttons and then you know, they use PayPal or they use Stripe or some other uh, mini bank transfer. So I use a very simple uh, tipping culture 
uh, thingy that I like, which is using a buy me coffee, so people can tip you. So inside buy me coffee, they have a lot of stuff like uh, your monthly uh, recurring support and uh, like visitors, and you can create so many. Example. So you can use Bami Coffee, it's really o-fi.com. But I'm using BamiCoffee.com because uh, you can integrate uh, Stripe and there's so many much more features uh, that I actually need as a creator or as a maker. So next, Indie Hackers. So Indie Hackers is a, a, a place and uh, people are building SaaS projects and as well as share their uh, journey as an entrepreneur or founder or a bootstrap startup. Uh, so you can actually uh, verify it with Stripe and you can share uh, how your revenue is growing and you can see other makers and other people who's building products and you can see uh, their statistics and how much they're earning uh, via the Stripe. So you can actually integrate with Stripe. So I'm pretty sure uh, Pakistan is not launched yet, right, I think. So maybe sooner or later, I guess. So next is uh, make a lot. So shipping in public. Shipping in public is really interesting because uh, you get to see other people shipping as well. So it kind of get you motivated. So uh, whatever you're building, whether you're creating a website or app or video content or maybe writing a newsletter or podcast. So this is a very great community founded by Sergio Matei from Puerto Rico. So uh, I suggest you guys who want to start coding and start web development, you can actually join uh, make a lot uh, for free. And of course, none other than the most famous ProductHunt.com. So you can launch a product here, you can get a lot of views, you can get upvotes, you can get leads, and pretty much, uh, oh, uh, you know, this is really good. So I've been on ProductHunt for about a couple of years, uh, but only active like two years, uh, like, like in 2018 and 19, only uh, this year. And ProductHunt is great. I'm one of the founder club uh, influencer. And also, uh, you can produce your own content as well. So it's very important for you, those who do coding, you should share your code on tutorial or you know turn it into a medium uh, content. So what I do is just that I write a blog, right? So I have my uh, blog over here, and then as well as I uh, do the podcast, and I make videos on YouTube as well, helping other makers to make uh, launch videos. So this is really great. So it's very important to turn uh, your content into a medium uh, for a media purpose, so they can people can benefit from your sharing, and and it's great to uh, engage with other people with your content. So the next thing is like uh, some of the featured articles and share. So I was featured on Code.org for building a no code game uh, using uh, some of these platform making games. Super makers you can find it on Product I was featured on Make Mag as well as influencer. So influencer is something. Um, Every community should have like uh, what should you influence others, uh, like you know about tech stack or maybe like uh, some apps or maybe some website. So people need to share about the reviews. Like you know, sometimes we have so much payment uh, payment gateway. Which one to use? Which is better? Which pay? So uh, as an influencer, this is what uh, I do. So I usually do a lot of testing and I try to understand their products in terms of like, product designing or product management. And then I, I influence them with the product. So some of them I do reviews like for videos as well. So other than that, like I was invited to be a judge. So this was uh, fixathon.io. So uh, we do climate exchange uh, uh, projects. Like there were about, I think, 400 over people. So it, so it was a hackathon. And then I was one of the judges among all other people from all around the world. So it's a really interesting project. Uh, you can read more about that. I can share you the link if you want to. And yeah, so coding also helps you solve problems in terms of creativity. So with coding itself, I created videos. Uh, I don't know how it helps, but uh, by building a website, and I launched uh, my, my company called Info Productions. I have 50,000 uh, subscribers. I well some um, Tesquira, like, uh, you know, for spiritual uh, thing. And then uh, people can actually uh, get benefit uh, about this, so I've been running this for more than six years, and uh, before before the COVID nineteen, before the uh, work from home or remotely. So this uh, this culture of working remotely also helped to solve uh, people. And other than that, uh, you know, keep learning and growing. So the more you learn, the more you earn. So this is the books that I got from like Stripe Press. 
So they have some other books like uh, uh, from Increment. So I read it and I talk about open source, talking about uh, documentation. So they have many uh, book issues. So you can just, just go to the website, increment.com. And there's another book called Get Together. So I read that book. It's really good like, for building communities. And of course, uh, Quran. So Quran is really interesting. So Quran is something uh, uh, helped me spiritually and also uh, get my goals to do everything. So completed the Quran in the month of Ramadan. Uh, so uh, read some pages, it's like four pages every uh, Hamas or any uh, every um, every prayers, every salah, every you no know, Zohor, Asar, Maghrib, Isha, and Fajr. So yeah, so you can read my articles here. Uh, some of it uh, you can I can share you my link. And um, I was also awarded uh, for the uh, committee member of the year, uh, product hunt, committee member of the year, product hunt, yeah, and also uh, makers festival. Recently, I just got awarded as well, so you can read my article on my blog. So I, I, I share a lot of insights of how you actually can build a digital product and also not digi non digital product as well, and how to actually engage in, uh, in the community. And last but not least, uh, the stack links like uh, for coding. So uh, here are some of the links that I actually use. It's pretty much very easy for those who want to start. Uh, the reason why I use Gemstack is because it's secure and it's fast and because of privacy and it's static. You know, it's static is nice and you can use API to actually integrate anything you want. So everything is fast. So you can use uh, like stackmeet.com, uh, Netlify, GitHub, uh, Gemstack Teams as well here. Some of the source that I actually collected. So if you want more, I can actually share with you. But uh, here, just a few of it. So thank you so much. Uh, for more, you can uh, check out my slide, fundacity.com slash learn to code drive. And, and thank you so much uh, to Kasim. Thank you so much to Kasim. Inviting me here. I'm very happy uh, to talk to you guys. So you guys hear me, right? Okay, thank you very much. 